Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. I am Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, I know you see by the title, you see the numbers 222. I'm going to cut straight to the chase and I'm going to just tell you out the gate. I don't believe in angel numbers. That's not something that I believe in or practice. I mentioned on the other video, another video a while ago that um, the root definition and inspiration for those words, you know, it has some stuff that I don't really line up with. So no judgment to anybody else, but what you are about to hear is not an interpretation of an angel number. It is for anyone, whether you look at that or not. If you see 222, this might be a message for you. I just wanted to be obedient and share the word with somebody because for myself, I know what it was meaning for me. And I also know that there are a lot of people right now, just in the world right now, just seeing a lot of numbers and triplicates. And the triplicate is when you see a number three times and usually you see it together. So you'll see five, 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 four, 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 three, 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 like that. So with that being said, I want to just start off saying this, just, just to clear the air. Okay. Biblically, Angels are watching over us. I'll give you a few examples. So in Psalm 91, 11, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Luke 4 and 10, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you. Psalm 34, 7, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. And how about one more? We'll do, here's a bonus one. In Hebrews 13, 2, it says, do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. So not only do we have angels around us all the time and God sends his angels to protect us, sometimes human beings that are in the form of strangers can be angels. So angels are just what it is. If you are out here on this earth in the spirit realm, there are always angels holding you down regardless. That may up for some people that's inspired by a number, but I just wanted to tell you that regardless whether you see a number or not, that is exactly what is happening. The angels will be there to protect you and cover you and keep you and camp around you because that's what God has released in the earth for us. Okay. I just wanted to say that. Now let me get on to what I wanted to tell y'all. So yo, so check this out. I was in here and I was about to start reading my word and then something was just like, you know what? Like not, it's not something I know the Holy Spirit was leading me to look at my phone. Like look, look in your phone. It's a message. And I'm like, what? So I go to my notes, y'all. Why I land on a note, check this out, from January 26th, 2018. And I'm like, what is this? I open it and it's a breakdown of two scriptures. And it's some other information, but the two scriptures started sticking out. And once I started reading it, I started rejoicing because I realized all this time I had answers in my notes directly from the Lord that I didn't even pay attention to, to questions that I've been asking recently and to questions others have been asking me recently as well. Many, many people have been asking me about numbers, but in particular, 222. And this is long before we came into 2022, right? So for me, I have learned over the years that, you know, whenever I start to see numbers, I just pray and I ask God, hey, what does this mean? Now, normally, you know, I mentioned one of my good friends. She is really into numbers. She really understands them biblically. She understands them spiritually. And it's incredible. I love the way um, she's able to interpret them through, you know, the way God gives it to her. And, you know, that's something that I would encourage each of you to do who, who's listening. You know, ask the Lord, ask God, like, God, look, you know, you're bigger than me. You know, these numbers are coming at me. I don't know what this means. I keep seeing it. I'm Googling it. You know, stay away from Google if you can, unless you've already prayed and figured that out. Ask the Lord to just show you. And if he leads you there, well, that's fine. You know, no judgment. I've Googled too. But I guess what I'm trying to say to you guys is this. Just try to start trusting yourself and know to, uh, to know that in your gut and in your spirit, what you're feeling, go with that. Because God is giving you that as an unction. He's giving you something to make you say, you know what? Hey, listen, I'm trying to show you something. I keep repeating something because I'm trying to get your attention, right? So with that being said, let's get to 222, which is a very, very prominent number for me personally, right? And I knew for me over the years, it has meant miracle signs and wonders. Once I figured out what that was and I, I saw it biblically, I'm like, oh my goodness, I got it. It was from, uh, it was from Acts, I believe, right? 
And so there were some other interpretations as well. But in this word that I got from January 26, 2018, the Lord was saying, you need to tell somebody today because what you wrote four years, almost four years ago in what, two weeks, this is relevant for someone right now. So I got excited. I was like, yo, I'm all about serving the people with whatever God is wanting me to share. So I hope what I'm about to say is going to really take the weight off of some of you and answer some of your questions and also go bring everything I'm saying back to the father. Okay. You make sure that it's for you. It may or may not be for you. So like I say, customarily for me, I know when I see those triplicate tools, I'm like, okay, miracle signs, wonders, miracle signs, wonders. But what's happening right now is there is a different message. And this message was deep enough to where God had me going to other scriptures and other scriptures and getting other interpretations until I finally got what he wanted me to say specifically to somebody who keeps seeing two, two, two. And just as a disclaimer, it is not miracle signs and wonders in the interpretation that he was showing me today. It is still biblical and it's still Holy Spirit led, but that is not what I saw. So this might be for you. Okay. Now, I had Job chapter 12, right? Job 12, excuse me, Job chapter 12. Well, y'all, why am I just jacking up all my words? I'm sorry about that. Um, I guess I'm like super excited about this word. And normally I will cut this out, but I'm not going to cut this part out because I'm a real person. I make mistakes. I jack up my words sometimes. And I don't want y'all to get the idea that I'm in here being fake and crazy when I'm really just a human, just like everybody listening to me. And you know, I'm just going to keep it moving. Y'all know I make mistakes. If it was super bad, I would have cut it out. But anyway, <laughs> back to what I was saying. So y'all, Job chapter 12, 22, right? The word says he discovers deep things out of darkness and brings out to light the shadow of death, right? I'm going to read you that from another vantage point because I know that's probably like, wait, he does what? <laughs> Here's another revelation of this. He reveals the deep things of darkness and brings utter darkness into light. Okay. The other scripture that the Lord was showing me that was coupled with this on January 26, 2018 was Daniel 2.22. Again, I've talked about all of these scriptures before, but what has been prominent has been the miracle signs and wonders and acts. But in this revelation, that's not the one that kept coming up. So in Daniel 2.22, he says he reveals the deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness and the light dwells within him. So y'all, Daniel 2.22 and Job 12.22, which is 2.22 at the end, they're both saying the exact same thing. Okay. So what I did was I studied both of them and I asked the Holy Spirit to show me what he is trying to tell somebody who cannot stop seeing these numbers. You are Googling, you're researching, you're asking people, you don't know what to do. You're screenshotting it, you're emailing it, you're saving it, you're texting it, and you're still not getting any revelation. So here is what I got with that. There's a secret that is hidden that God is going to reveal to you. Now, I'm going to break this down to you, okay? I'm going to break this down. When something is private, it's one thing. But when something is a secret, it's another. If something is private, it's because somebody feels that it's important to just keep something, you know, hidden away because it's not necessarily for public consumption, which is fine. There's no shade to it. There's nothing crazy to it. There's nothing, you know, foul to it. It's just not something that they consider is for public consumption, which can be absolutely respected. It's, what, it's how I move. I like privacy. Not secrecy, but privacy, right? Now, secrecy, on the other hand, if you tell a secret, it could go down. <laughs> like stuff could go down. A good secret or a bad secret. That's like if you know somebody is having a surprise party and you go and tell a secret to the person and it's going to devastate the person planning the party because they wanted to keep it a secret. They wanted to surprise them. They did not want them to know. Just like if it was something bad and like, oh, don't tell him that. Don't tell her that, man. Keep that a secret because if she found that out, you know, all hell would break loose or, you know, something crazy going to happen, right? Well, there's a secret. Okay, now I'm going to give you the four words. There are four words, y'all, that were in both of these scriptures. Okay, and again, I'm going to break this thing, thing down for you so much that when you get off of this thing and you've seen 222, 
If it don't make sense to you, you just got to keep resting in the Lord until he gives you another personal revelation. But I'm going to break this thing down so that you can start paying attention. Because what I was seeing was that there's some people who you've gotten so concerned about seeing it so much that God can't even deliver the answer to you because you're too focused on seeing it so many times. So I want you to just pause on that. And I want you to pay attention to these four words that both scriptures, and by the way, y'all, in multiple versions, by the way, multiple versions, they all had these words. The first word was reveal. Now, in some interpretations, it said discovered or uh, what's the other word? Uncovered, right? But the most prominent word was reveal. Okay, so this is going to be revealed to you. What does that mean? When something is revealed to you, you don't go looking for it. Okay? So that's the first thing. Stop looking for it. If the Lord keeps sending you those numbers and it keeps glaring and glaring and it's getting worse and worse, probably because it's getting closer to you. You're getting closer to that revelation. Again, reveal. That's a derivative of revelation. Right? That's the first word that they both have in common in addition to the numbers. The second thing. He's saying that it's deep. Come on, y'all. Don't miss me right here. It's deep. So hear me out. When you know something is deep in your life, you don't take it lightly, right? When there's some depth to something, you tend to take things that are deep a bit more seriously, right? You're like, oh man, that's deep or that's heavy. So even if this is a good thing, or if it's something that God is trying to show you that may not be favorable, because I can't say that part. I don't know. I would be making that up and talking out the side of my neck if I said that, because each person is different. I just have to give you the basic framework and revelation of what the, those numbers were meaning the way he showed me, because I know what he showed me was for someone that's listening and it may not be for everybody. Right. So. If it's good or bad, he'll show you he'll show you that part. But like I was saying, deep. Right. It's deep. So he's going to reveal, which means he's going to he's going to gently uncover it to you. He's going to reveal it to you. But once he reveals it, you're going to be like, Ooh, not only did not know that, but this is deep. So imagine we know what it's like if it's deep and it's bad, like, oh, that's deep. I didn't know that was going on. But imagine for those of you who keep seeing these numbers because it's something incredible coming up. What if it's something that's so beautiful and something that's been in the works for you behind the scenes? Who? come on. This is for somebody. What if it's something so deep and so awesome that's revealed to you and it's in your favor? You know that's going to hit different. Come on. You know that's going to hit different. That's going to hit different. So I don't want you to be so caught up in what is this? What is that? I keep seeing it to the point where you miss it. Because God is trying to prep you and he's trying to show you, hey, I need you to be in position so that you can understand why you keep seeing these numbers. No, you're not crazy. No, you're not new age. No, you're not this. Look, God can show you numbers. Don't listen to people that tell you, oh, God, don't do this. You don't know. Ain't nobody God. You can't say what God can't do. God can use anything he wants to use to get your attention because he's God. I'm never going to put my mouth on God and say, you know what? Oh no, he not, no, unless it's something I know that's demonic and you know, God say in his word, he don't have no parts of, unless it's something like that. No way he can use anything he wants. Cause guess what? If the Lord made you a person who was a mathematician and he knew before he created you, Oh, this child going to love math. All they're going to like is math and numbers. Well, guess what? If you are more practical and you, you a person who are, who's not super spiritual and all you pay attention to is facts and figures and numbers and the math got to be math, then he might keep showing you numbers. Cause he says, well, that's my child. I gave them a great aptitude for math and that's what they put most of their attention to. So I'm going to have to go to the thing in which I put their attention on and I'm gonna have to speak to them through the thing that they're going to pay attention to and receive. So that's why we cannot say God is not going to do something a particular way. I don't know that. You know what I'm saying? So be open-minded because God may tell you in a way that he knows is going to connect to you. It may not make sense to other people, but it'll connect to you. And trust me, I'm not going to lie. I love when people text me about numbers and they send me screenshots and, you know, they, they show me these things because I do the same thing. I get excited because I'm like, OK, the Lord is speaking to me in a way he's really trying to get my attention on a deeper level. And sometimes for the things that I know that they mean when I see them, I'm like, whoo, 
Thank you, God. See, when I see that triplicate, y'all, that five, 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 who that's triple grace. I'd be like, thank you, Jesus. Cause usually I'll be needing the grace of God right then straight up. And right then it'll be something that's crazy. And I'm like, who Lord, thank you father. And sometimes I might get it a few days before. Or a few days after. But it's always the Lord letting me know, nah, I got you, Robin. But that's what that means for me. You know, it could be different for other people. But that's why I keep urging you, y'all. It doesn't matter what your state of mind is. Before you go to Google, just sit with whatever you're seeing and just ask God first. Lord, if you are sending me these numbers to show me something, if you are trying to lead me and guide me into something, Lord, please show me. Please explain it to me. Please let me know what it is so that I could move the way you want me to move with this information, right? So check this out. So the next thing, the next the next word, and I'm gonna say these words together because I told you it was four, is a light and darkness. Okay, so the first word was reveal. Reveal was in both scriptures. Deep was in both scriptures. Light was in both scriptures. And darkness was in both scriptures. Okay, so he's basically telling you whatever is in the dark, he's gonna bring to the light. And one of my favorite scriptures, well, two of my favorite scriptures are in Luke and they are Luke 8, 17, which doesn't have any tools in it, but it says the same thing. Whatever is done in the dark, I'll bring to the light. But check this out. Luke 12 and two, which is 22, same scripture. And it talks about the light and the dark. So for some of you listening right now, there are some things that have been hidden in the dark and God is going to bring those things to light. And not only is he going to do that, but it's going to be deep. And he is going to reveal it to you. I don't know if it's good and I don't know if it's bad. You just got to seek him on that. And sometimes you just got to let it play out to find out. But I can guarantee you this. If the Lord is speaking to you and he keeps allowing you to see numbers multiple times and you're seeing those triplicates. Again, I always think about the triplicate with the three numbers like the Trinity, like the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. That's all connected to me. So I really want you to sit with it. And just take a moment, Lord, are you speaking to me through these numbers? Please affirm, confirm, however you want to say it. It's your world. You're asking whatever you want. It's between you and him. And let God confirm to you what that thing looks like, what that means for you. Because listen, you're not getting numbers for no reason. Because you're not making it up. You're not trying to find them. Well, sometimes people do. But I know those of you listening 99.9% 99.9% of y'all, you only listening because you genuinely have been seeing the numbers and you're not making it happen. You just don't know why it keeps happening. So it's going to be revealed. It's going to be deep. And it's going to be something that was hidden in the dark and God is going to expose it in the light. Okay. So this is what I want to tell you. If you are getting this word And you feel like, okay, now I feel like I have some understanding of what these tools might mean to me. It's a couple of things I want you to sit and just think about. Okay. And of course, bring it to God, but definitely understand that if God is trying to reveal something to you and it has depth and he's trying to bring it in the light and he wants to bring it to your attention, mentally prepare for getting new information, whatever that looks like for you. Make some space because something that that is deep with numbers that I'm noticing is there's always like a, a hidden meaning, meaning that a lot of times when I back in the day, like when I would get different numbers, I would always kind of feel unsettled until either they stopped or something happened and I got a resolution for them. Right. But as I've grown a little more and I'm continuously growing, I'll be doing it until the day I leave this earth. But as I grow now and I learn more, I, I think more about. How I've been feeling lately. Now, remember how I told y'all 222 normally for me is miracle signs and wonders. Well, once I realized I kept getting the tools in triplicate form and miracle signs and wonders, I kind of feel like that's relative. And if you have the type of perspective to really understand God and know God on that level, you're going to see you're going to see miracle signs and wonders because you see God in everything. So there's, there's one part of me that felt that way, but then there was another part of me, y'all. I was like, man, it's gotta be something else. Cause I keep seeing them. And then other people keep sending me the numbers. 
You know what I'm saying? And another person keeps sending me the numbers. And I keep, you know, so I knew that it was more than that. And y'all, that's okay, man. It's okay if they keep piling up and you keep seeing different ones. Because what? let me tell you what normally happens. You start seeing triple twos and you start seeing triple threes and triple ones and triple this and that. That's just kind of how it is. That's how it's been for me. And most people that I know that encounter numbers, you know, they either feel like it's weird or something wrong with them or somebody who's like, super crazy acting and be like, man, you, them numbers don't mean nothing. Them numbers not God. Who told you that? Cause I'm just a firm believer that God is just never going to leave us out there hanging and he's never going to leave us out there bleeding. And I think that there's a way to take everything we experience and just bring it back to the father. I constantly talk about that same thing. Probably almost every video. I always say, bring things back to the father because we don't need a middleman. You don't need a YouTuber or somebody on TV or, you know, on the pulpit to do things that God could do with you directly. He puts people in place though. Don't get it twisted. He puts his people in place to get things done, but you should never feel like, you know, you have a noose around you and there's no freedom to where you feel scared to say, Oh Lord, I have these numbers. I don't know what it means. And then you just go into Google because you're kind of like, Oh, I feel bad. God don't have nothing to do with no numbers. I don't believe that at all. There's so many times in the Bible where he said, you got five this, you got two of that. It was three of these, four of these. He's counting a lot all through that Bible. And they got a whole book of the Bible called Numbers. So I'm just never going to believe <laughs> that that's not a part of some of the journeys that we have in this life. And I don't want anybody to feel the way about that. So if you see in those numbers, you just make sure you stay pure and don't let people jade you on what they think they mean. Listen, angels are always around you. Angels are always covering you. Angels are always there for you. Okay. That's, that's a gift that we get from God. So questioning angels or feeling like numbers represent angels in a way. I'm just telling you, regardless as if you see a number or not, angels are always with you and angels are always around you to protect you. So it doesn't hurt. If, if this applies to you, if this don't apply, don't worry about it. You could just skip it. You don't have to say nothing crazy in the comments. Just skip it, honey. It's okay. It's nobody's mad. I'm just speaking for the person that God wanted me to speak to. I don't know who that person is, but yeah, man, just go ahead and, you know, go and ask God, Hey, what does that mean for me? But I know for somebody listening who've been seeing those tools, God is about to reveal a deep secret and he's about to take something from the dark and he's going to bring that mug to the light. For some of you, it is going to be absolutely jarring. You're going to be like, I cannot believe this was going on. And now I know it. And it's great. And for others of you, I'm not even going to say that it's necessarily bad, but it just might not be something that you know, you immediately receive. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, though. I have to be careful right there because just because something might appear bad to someone in particular, it might not be the same thing to a different person. Like people can have a different perspective of what's bad, but God knows what's needed. So if you are seeing those triplicates, if you are seeing those tools, again, Job 12, 22, Daniel 2, 2, 2, Luke 12 and 2, those all say the same thing about the dark and the light. So remember, this is not something you have to look for because it will be revealed to you. Remember that there's depth to it. It's not going to be something to take lightly when you do get it. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad or good. It's just that God is prepping you because he wants you to get it. And I can guarantee you, whether you like it or not, whatever God prepares for us and gives to us, it always eventually benefits us. If it's not immediately, it's eventually. But that is who God is. He's loving, he's caring. And even if things have to go a particular way, he definitely makes sure that we are prepared to get the things that he has for us. It's up to, to us, you know, if we put legs and feet to our prayers. It's up to us if we take action and we listen. It's up to us if we just sit and get mad and say, oh God, why do I keep getting these numbers and you don't want to tell me and we're not praying about it? You know, and we, and it's also up to us to understand too, if we're not really seeking good counsel, if we're not really trying to get to the core of things, even beyond our prayers, if we're not in a place where we're trusting, you know, what God has shown us and who God has revealed to us to help us in these spaces, then again, we can't be mad at God when he opens up doors, even if it's a door we may not understand or may not even want. We have to still know that he's handpicked certain people to help you through these spaces. So I hope that 
this helps someone. And I hope that you go back and read these words for yourself and just know something is going to be revealed. It's going to be deep and it's going to go from dark to light. God is going to reveal something secret to you again. Not necessarily good, not necessarily bad. It could be awesome. It could not be. That's that's specific to your situation. But the framework of those tools that you're seeing, the triple, the two, 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 not, not the other ones, two, two, two. That is for you. And you will know this is for you because you will feel a release and a peace in your spirit. And you will begin to make room. And whatever that looks like for you, you will make room for God to give you the information that he wants you to get. So I hope that that blessed you. I hope that you um, continue just to be open-minded and let the Father speak to you however he wants to speak to you. Always run everything back through God, y'all, because the enemy likes to do crazy things too. Just make sure you keep yourself covered, you stay prayed up, and you trust God first. God is a God of order. You seek him first. It's seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Added unto you. That's Matthew 6.33. You seek him first. Before anybody else, don't, don't let it be Google. Don't let it be people. If you end up at those places because you're led after going to him first, then that's what you do. But don't put nothing, nobody, no number, no situation, nothing before God. You always ask him for leading and guidance so that you can land where he wants you to land because he loves you. He cares about you and he wants you to be actively in service to him, actively hearing his directives and actively growing and learning him on deeper, higher levels. And for some of you, the numbers are coming into, into play from him because it's just going to be another way that he communicates and speak to you. But it won't be flimsy. It won't be because somebody made up a definition. It'll be because you can, you can proudly say, I really feel the Lord is moving me personally. I'm not guessing from nobody else. It's the other things that I've heard have been confirmation, but it's not me doing it. It is really my connection with the Lord and my trusting him. And I know to move in this direction because I keep seeing this particular thing. So again, you guys be awesome. You continue to be great. And you remember, I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.